Shippers. Today we are coming to you from Cuyacan out here in Mexico City. We are going to do a walking tour, show you guys what it's like down here, home to the Little Blue House Museum, which is an art exhibit. So we're going to walk around Cuyacan, show you guys what this place has to offer as we're headed towards the central area. This is a suburb of Mexico City. So let's get started. Here is the Mercado de Cuyacan. Mercado de Cuyacan. Julio. Okay. Nice little shade and breeze in here. What do we got? Most of the stuff's closed on a Tuesday, it looks like. We'll just kind of buzz through here. Bueno. Get an idea of what's going on in here. Hola, señor. Okay. Comida. Some food. they got upstairs. Let's see. I think they got something that goes upstairs. Oh, these are real plants. Hola, señor. Hey! Hola. Oil. Chicon. that was an interesting market now we're gonna head down towards the city center or the old town center all right coming up to Cuyacan Central okay so this area is the central Cuyacan Wow Old town in Mexico City. Look at that. Hola, señor. Bienvenido. Habla español inglés o no? No. Uh, un café, café. Sí. Okay. El baño. Told that lady I'll come back for some crepes. Just had a cup of coffee. So far, really enjoying good old Mexico City. It's a really lovely town. All over. Hello. Oh. oh, Mescal. Yeah, my friend. You want to try? Oh. Just a little bit. Maybe in a little bit. Okay, my friend. Thank you, Senor. Oh, thank you. You too. I might come back and get some mescal after I'm done doing this walking tour, although people do like to see mescal drinking. So one of the things that I had noticed when I, uh, or that I had read 
Because believe it or not, Mescal is actually wasn't considered uh, an elite drink or a quality drink for a while. Uh, it was like second to tequila. And then one of the restaurants opened up and started serving mescal and it became more popular. But it was actually not considered a quality drink for a while there. So here we go. If you guys are considering coming down to Mexico uh, during the, you know, lockdowns, just make sure you bring plenty of masks because you got to wear your mask. Don't cough on anybody or anything like that. Follow basic uh, guidelines. They are pretty strict here, but they're not at the same time, you know. It's just like basic common sense. But they do take the COVID stuff pretty serious here. It's just not like as aggressively as San Francisco, for example. <laughs> Wow, so many great little cafes down here. I say that because I smell it. I smell the goods. And you can see here's some more of the uh, Kuyakan uh, walking area. I think if I go around here, I'll get a few more uh, restaurants and cafes down that way. So I'm going to walk this way towards the cathedral. If you guys enjoy walking tours from around Mexico, you maybe want to watch some of our other videos. La Paz, Todos Santos, Guadalajara, Mexico City, Cabo San Lucas. And we're headed to the Yucatan tomorrow, so that'll be fun. So you can expect that. Beautiful street there. So this cathedral. So this is actually the center of Cuyacan, but it's closed. Hola. Hola. How's it, how's it work? Uh, it's a touristic tram where uh -huh. you can discover the history, architecture, uh, discover the, the neighborhood. Huh? How, how much is it? Quantos? Uh, 80 pesos. 80 pesos? Per, quantos uh -huh. quantos uh, horas? Uh, only, well, it takes between 30 and 40 minutes, the trip. It takes us to Roma? Uh, no, only Coyoacán. If you go to Roma neighborhood, you can catch only Roma on this. Oh. Okay. Mark Khan. Churros. Ooh. Let's get a churro. So the reason they actually call it Coyoa Khan is after the area of the coyotes. So that's why it's called Coyoa Khan. The area of the coyotes. This is actually where Hernan Cortez had his house in the neighborhood called Del Carmen. Where we are actually headed now is towards Francisco Sosa Avenue. And that's like a neighborhood. The Del Carmen neighborhood is that way, and that's really nice. Where Hernan Cortez has his house. 
but instead of making a left here, I am actually going to go right. Quite a few nice shops. You can see these cantinas. Smells really good too. Street art for you. All right, so we've made it to Francisco Sosa Avenue here. And this is the area where if you just take this road all the way down, you get quite an awesome little neighborhood. Right here you got a nice restaurant. This was actually the original capital of Mexico, Coyoacan was. Back in the 1500s, quite amazing. You can see just how re relaxing and peaceful this neighborhood is. So I'll just kind of walk and let you guys take it all in. If you're enjoying this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. Let's keep going. Look at these trees, such a lush area. Could you imagine coming here before it was all one giant city? Maybe in the 1800s or earlier, I'm sure it was really amazing. You could imagine. There's a park up here called Katharina, I believe. And we should be coming up to that park here soon. It's a beautiful neighborhood. So it's Kayoa Khan, like coyote, and then the Khan is basically what most of these cities end in, like Teotihuacan, Tenochtitlan. I'm take my mask off so I can breathe better. Bear in mind, it is 7,000 feet elevation, so the air up here is certainly feeling thinner. I guess that's what you would call it. Man, this is a great neighborhood, huh? This might just be one of my favorite walks I've ever been on. peaceful avenue Francisco Sosa
All right. Here we are on Avenido Ayantun Ento. Try and say that. It's a little bit tough. Avenida is Avenue. They do have a little trolley tour that we just took. 80 pesos. Oh wow, this is really a cool place. Lots of old trees. Hola, señor. Buenas tardes. Wow. Just want to show you guys this chilled out garden here. I think we're going to get some food. Let's see. So I just got some like chorizo and bread. The Sprite that uh, Spanish tapas. Seemed almost like Italian now. I don't know what it was. Look at that. Uh, so now we're coming up to Porque. I believe this is Caterina. Beautiful park. Oh, look at that. I've got a restaurant right there. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching this episode from Cayo Con. If you guys enjoy videos like this, consider subscribing and watching some of these other videos you can see from around Mexico. Look at that beautiful restaurant there. Two of them. See you guys.